Welcome to Demolition Ranch. What's up, Lieutenant Dan? Everyone's seen movies where somebody shoots a lock, padlocks like this, and it explodes, and they go through the gate or the door they were trying to get through. I want to see how feasible is that. I bought some of the nicest padlocks I could find. These are key locks, and they are super solid and hard and expensive. Um, we're going to shoot them with a variety of calibers and see how easy they are to bust open like they do in the movies. We'll work our way up in caliber, so let's start out with the 22 long rifle out of this P22. Barely made a dent in there. Not only is it still locked, I would bet that it still works. I can do this one-handed. There you go, still works. Let's try it again. I don't think it's gonna budge. <laughs> this is awesome. There is lead stuck on here. That is lead. That's metal from the 22 bullet, not from the lock. And there's some more up here, just a big blob of lead. So there's at least three solid hits on this thing. I tried to put the key in, but the key will not go in there anymore. So it's still locked, but it is no longer functional. You can't unlock it anymore. So as expected, our 22 did not open up our hypothetical gate but it did damage the lock on said gate, so the owner of the gate cannot get through to his own property anymore. Let's see if we can open it up with a nine millimeter pistol. A square hit right on the front here. There is more lead stuck on it. Um, not even close to opening this thing up though. Let's try some more. All right, we have first real damage on this lock. Busted the bottom two tabs out of this thing. Still solid as a rock, though. Still locked. Nailed it right there. You can see this bar coming down inside right there. Split it open a little bit. Still locked solid. I think we need something with a little more power. Like 5.56. Five, out of a 16 inch barreled Keltec SU-16C. Same lock going at the top one again. Well the 556 definitely had more success than the other two. Looks like it went clear through this lock. But is it still hooked on? Yeah, that thing is not unlocked yet. That might have done it. Are we unlocked? It's looking like it. Uh, not really. Well, we did get it. Several shots from a 22, several shots from a 9mm, and I think what really did it was several shots from a rifle. Um, probably disproves the bad guy running up with a 9mm, shooting a lock and running through, um, unless it's a really crappy lock. This one was not, so if it's a solid lock, you're gonna need at least a rifle, and you're gonna need several rounds. But let's try a rifle that shoots a bit of a bigger bullet, maybe. That could work. For lock number two, how about this one? This is a 44 Magnum cartridge, 255 grain bullet. Now this thing will put a wallop on you coming out of a four inch barrel. It'll really hurt coming out of like an eight inch barrel revolver. But can you imagine it coming out of a 20 inch barrel. This is a Henry Big Boy Steel 44 Magnum with a 20 inch barrel going at lock number two. So looks like we hit the top five plates, bent the uppermost totally back, made it a, a little bent. Still solid. I bet that thing would not open though. Let's see if we can open it up with a bullet. It's a pretty good hit. That was awesome. <laughs> uh, solid hit. Bent up um, everything from middle down pretty much. But still solid. There's even pieces of metal falling out of this as I shake it. But still solid on there. Guess we better shoot it again. We caught the bullet. 
it's hot too. There's the bullet trying to squeeze out of the back side of this thing. This lock's pretty dang strong. There was a bullet falling out. Still solid. Not gonna give yet. Uh, let's put another one in there. All right, Henry, show me what you got. I have to shoot a little bit higher. That one may have got it. Oh, maybe not. It's close. It's really close. Pieces are falling off. Let's see if we can give it a little help. There it is. So there you go, that'll tell you that even with one of the most powerful handgun cartridges in the world, the 44 Magnum, one shot won't cut it. I think we hit it with, what, four or five shots? And it was out of a 20 inch barrel, meaning it had maximum velocity. That is a pretty gun, don't you agree? So, maybe we need to hit it with something that has a little bit more oomph on our third lock. So what's bigger than a 44 Magnum? What about a one ounce slug out of a 12 gauge shotgun? Shotguns are known for shooting locks, padlocks, regular door locks. Um, they do it in real life, they do it in the movies, and they're definitely always in the movies a one-hit successful entry. So what about real life? There's only one way to find out. <laughs> I kicked the shit out of me. The hit was solid. <laughs> right there in the front, crushed probably 75% of these little bars and made a huge dent where this thing slammed back into the wood here, but did not unlock it. That is crazy. It also split our board where this eye hook was going in there. That was a lot of power. I guess we better shoot it again. Round two. Shotguns work pretty well. It is safe to say you will be getting through this door or gate. So a shotgun busting through a lock in one shot is totally plausible. I was pretty close on that. I'm sure if I attempted a few more times, one shot could knock that open. But I just wonder if there's something that's even better at opening locks with one shot. Hmm. Maybe like a Barrett 50 BMG. That could be more powerful. Oh my gosh. So check it out. <laughs> well, our 2x6 is totally dead. The lock is gone. There are pieces of it everywhere. There's some pieces over here. There are pieces of it in this tree over here. Some on the ground there. Ah, look at that. There is the hook totally bent up. I wish I had a slow motion camera because I bet that was pretty awesome. So basically, as far as locks go, there are some guns that are one hit kills. Thanks for watching Demolition Ranch. I had a great time making this episode. I hope you enjoyed it as well. And I will see you next time. Contact! <laughs> what about the quad? Don't move, don't move. Bobby!